Hey guys, Jeff Jones here, and as many of you know, the new Link Summoning mechanic and Link Monsters are coming out relatively soon, uh, around Nationals time, or right after, and I think they're really interesting and pretty cool. Uh, as time goes on, obviously we're going to get new and better ones, even if some of the ones revealed aren't too great. And a lot of people think that after Link Monsters come out and the new rules go into effect, that the game is going to slow down. And while that might be true, I've definitely figured out a few things that uh, definitely are not slow. And one of them is a two-card combo, which lets you end with an amazing field. Uh, and uh, so I just wanted to show you guys that today. And uh, the cards you need are either you to have uh, a Preta Plant Scorpio in your hand, or a Lone Fire Blossom, so that's six copies of three and three, and either one of three Rescue Ferrets, or one of three Emergency Assistance Rescue. And if you have, yeah, so one of these, one of these, or one of these, and if you have both, you get to end with a pretty ridiculous field. Um, and I'll explain what the cards do as they go on. So, so you start off with uh, summoning your Predator Plant Scorpio, and he says when he's normal summoned or special summoned, you can send a monster from your hand to the graveyard and special summon a Predator Plant monster from your deck. So you go ahead and do that. And special summon Predator Plant Darling Cobra, which says if it's special summoned by a Predator Plant monster, you can add a fusion a fusion card or a polymerization card from your deck to your hand. Which is pretty ridiculous, because that lets you search for one of my favorite cards, Brilliant Fusion. Uh, after that, you're going to Link Summon, and or I'm sorry, you're going to Exceed Summon, and when you Exceed now, you have to go into your extra Monster Zone. You start off by going to X-Saber Invoker, pretty popular card right now. And you activate his effect, Special Summon a monster from your deck, and you go ahead and Special Summon Heroic Challenger Thousand Blades. So after that, uh, we're going to actually Link Summon, and so we'll send both of these to Grave, and summon Mrs. Radiant. Uh, this effect isn't too relevant, but it's an easy to summon uh, Link Monster. It takes two Earth Monsters, and it's uh, Link Zones point uh, d uh, directly down, or I'm sorry, diagonally down. So these two zones right here. Uh, after that, we're going to activate our Brilliant Fusion now. And Brilliant Fusion will send Garnet and Triclonda Grave. And we'll go ahead and summon Seraphonite to one of our linked zones. Uh, now Triclon's effect will activate and you'll summon and take a thousand damage. And because you took a thousand damage, you're able to trigger her Champion's effect. I'm sorry, Challenge's effect. Uh, after that, so then you either have, if you have Rescue Ferret or the Emergency Assistance Rescue in hand, uh, you can activate the Emergency Rescue Assistance, which says you can, if your other points are lower than your opponents, you reveal basically three rescue monsters from your deck, and you get to add one to your hand. Uh, because you had Trick Clown's effect, uh, you're not lower life points than your opponents, so you can play this, or you can just summon the Rescue Ferret if you already had it. Uh, so you go ahead and use your additional normal summon for Seraphonite and Rescue Ferret. After that, we're going to Link Summon again. So we're going to send Seraphonite, Trick Clown, and... Oh, I'm sorry, that's not right. We're going to send uh, Radiant and Seraphonite to Grave, and summon Deco Talker. Uh, Deco Talker's effect is uh, not relevant for this combo, but again, it takes three effect monsters, and and uh, its uh, links are diagonally down and towards your opponent. And once per turn. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, he gains 500 attack for every monster linked to it, and during either player's turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card you control, you contribute one monster linked to this card and negate the activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Uh, so after that, we're going to use uh, Rescue Ferret's effect, which says you can return him to the deck to special summon two monsters from your deck whose total levels equal six. I'm pretty sure eventually this card's going to get limited or banned, because this card's actually just absurd, especially with more link monsters coming out. Uh, something to note about this card is that even though we're doing two level three monsters for this combo, uh, you can do uh, a one and a five or a two and a four. So there's lots of room for innovation for what you want to do with this card. So use him. <clears throat> and again, for this combo, uh, this is going to be a more OCG oriented because they're going to get link monsters first. However, I have figured out ways to make this combo and other combos similar to this. Um, using only uh, TCG cards. Uh, 
but I'm going to let you guys try to figure all that stuff out. I have to give some stuff secret. <laughs> Uh, so you summon uh, two dandelions. Oh, I'm sorry. And the rescue perch summons the monsters to the uh, monsters that are uh, to your link zones. So you can only summon to your link zones. So for Nito Talker, you have to summon them right here. So in OCG, they have two dandelions. So summon two dandelions. And then you're going to exceed summon. It's one of my favorite cards, Melee of the Trees. Uh, so you get to detach material from her and either monster born or plant, or send a plant from your deck to the graveyard. For this combo, we're going to send one from deck to grave. So we'll send Lone Fire Blossom. Uh, Dandelion's effect triggers, giving you two tokens. Now, we are going to uh, Link Summon. So we're going to Link Summon, sending... One, two, three... Guy Saber, the Video Knight, and he is a normal monster, but he's generic uh, for a Link 3, and he also has uh, good Link Zones. Uh, he has left, right, and down. Uh, after that, uh, we're going to uh, Link Summon again, so we're going to send Millie of the Trees to Grave, and Deco Talker. So Deco Talker is a Link 3, and then, so you can do uh, these two together to make four. Summon Firewall Dragon. Now, this card is uh, absolutely ridiculous, I'm pretty sure. Um, <laughs> he's the main card of this combo, and I'm pretty sure he's going to be one of the best Link Monsters ever printed, even at the end of the uh, at the end of the day when Link Monsters are done. I feel like he's still going to be utterly ridiculous, and he's going to keep getting more ridiculous uh, the more time goes on. Um, so Dandelion, the second Dandelion was underneath Melier, so you get to summon two more tokens. And then we're going to, to uh, Link Summon again. So we're going to send one of the tokens away and summon Link Spider up here. Now, Firewall Dragon's effect says, uh, once fully space up during either player's turn, you can target any a number of monsters on the field or in the graveyard, up to the number of monsters linked with this card. Uh, the text actually says mutually linked, which is very important, because if it did say just linked, um, just, there would be like a bunch of infinite loops. Uh, and there might even still be that I haven't figured out yet. But it's supposed to be mutually linked, which means you have an arrow pointing towards a monster, and they have an arrow pointing towards you. So you target the monsters up to the uh, number of monsters that are mutually linked on either player's graveyard or either player's field, and return them to the hand. And if a monster linked by this card is destroyed by battle or sent to the graveyard, you can special some more monster from your hand. So right now, we have uh, two mutual links, meaning we can return two monsters from our graveyard to our hand. So we're going to add back Dandelion and Lone Fire Blossom. So we'll have four cards in hand total. Uh, uh, after that, we're going to uh, Link Summon again. Sending Gaia Saber and uh, Link Spider to Grave to summon uh, Firewall Dragon, another one. And since a monster that was linked to Firewall Dragon was sent to the graveyard, uh, you can spell summon a monster from your hand. So you go ahead and spell summon Lone Fire Blossom. Uh, you can then uh, use Lone Fire Blossom to contribute it. Bring out some more. And, bulb. and again, since a monster w that was linked to Firewall Dragon uh, was sent to the graveyard, you can supposed to summon a monster from your hand. That part is not once per turn. So you can supposed to summon Dandelion now. Uh, then we can send one, two, three for a link. So we'll summon Guy Saber the Video Knight. And Dandelion's effect will trigger again, giving us two more tokens. Uh, then we're going to uh, Link Summon again, so we'll get rid of one of these tokens for Link Spider. And we'll get another, another one of these tokens for the third Link Spider. Uh, then we're going to use the Firewall Dragon's effect we haven't used yet, so we can return one monster from our graveyard to our hand, since he's only linked by one monster right now. So it doesn't really matter, I don't believe, which monster you return, so let's get back on for our Blossom. Uh, then, we're going to Link Summon, sending two Link Spiders to the graveyard 
to summon Honeybot. Uh, Honeybot takes two cyber type monsters, which the Link Spiders are, and it says uh, neither player can target monsters in this card's Link Zones with card effects. Also, this monster is copied Shroud Idol. Uh, that's very important to uh, the ending of this combo. Uh, some of you might have already figured out where it's going. Uh, because a monster that was linked to Firewall Dragon was into the graveyard, again, we can still summon a monster from our hand, so we'll still summon the lone part of last time we got back. Uh, then we will link someone again, sending Gaia Saber and Lone Fire Grave for Link 4. Summoning our third Firewall Dragon. Then we're going to activate a Gloat's Effect in Grave. So we'll mill a card and special summon Gloat Bolt back. And then we're going to Synchro Summon for Naturia Beast. Uh, so that is the end of the combo, which leaves you with... Uh, so those two cards let you have uh, Naturia Beast. A uh, Honeybot, which protects Notoria Beast from being destroyed by battle or targeted by card effects, also protecting the newest Firewall Dragon from being destroyed by battle or card effects. Uh, two other Firewall Dragons, uh, two random cards in hand, and this Firewall Dragon's effect can still be activated. So during your opponent's turn, you can bounce up to two monsters uh, they control, or in their graveyard, or your graveyard, uh, to the owner's hand. So if your opponent summons a monster that's going to be a problem, uh, for any reason, you can bounce it and then return a monster from your your hand, or you can let them summon numerous monsters and bounce both of them. Um, either way, with just those two cards, you could end with three Firewall Dragons, uh, Mernitri Beast, which is protected by basically everything, so you're only really vulnerable to like special, certain trap cards. Um, and that's just kind of it. I thought it was kind of ridiculous. Uh, who knows where it's going to go from here, though. Uh, there could be a lot better things out there. There probably are. And uh, thanks for watching.